Hey everybody, welcome to Bottom Tier. Uh, it's me, Colton, and I'm playing Super Punch Out. God, I love this game. I cannot tell you enough how much I adore this game. Uh, I have so many fond memories in my childhood of playing it. My cousin Hunter, um, name is already used, right? Uh, my cousin Hunter had this game at his house, and we would play it together. Uh, for hours on end every single time I went over for a family reunion so I Man just I, I used to know this game inside now the farthest I've ever made it is to The last to the, like the second to last person in the world circuit, but as a kid I could never beat dragon Chan now Hold on. I got to get in my groove here And down. Okay, so if I had timed that right when he was wobbling back and forth like that, if I had timed it right, it would have knocked him down in one, in one more punch instead of three. Needless to say, I did not time it right. Um, that's okay, because it's Gabby J. He's the easiest uh, punch out character to beat. In fact, there we go. We just beat him. So, that's one in the books. Now this... Ooh! A second away from the fastest time. Sorry, not my microphone. Bear Hugger. Now this guy, I used to never... When I was really young, like the first couple of times I played this game, at like the first couple of family reunions I went to... I had no idea how to hurt him because when you hit him in the stomach, he makes this really hilarious noise. Quack, quack. It's, it's, and he taunts you and he does these big, wide arcing, just haymakers that you're not prepared for. No matter how prepared you might think you are. Oop, and they're hard to time the dodge to. Quack, quack. So what you have to do in the early part of this fight is get punched a lot. Just let him punch you a whole bunch of times. And then forget your dodge window. That's the big part. You can't forget that. You absolutely have to just let him beat on you a whole bunch. <laughs> he makes so many wobbles before he actually falls over. See, that would have been another window where if I'd hit him, he'd have instantly gone down no matter how much health he had. Um, that's what that's a trick that speedrunners use to get through the fights. Um, is There's a pattern of ways you can hit them and counter punch them to get them super weak. And then they'll start wobbling and you can just molly wop them right in the noodle. And uh, just right in the old noggin. And they'll go down. And sometimes they'll even stay down for the count. See, I was fourth on the time chart there. But that's a trick they use that I used to know. There was a time where I was trying to get the number one time on all these fights. Not in the world, but just on the little in-game scoreboard for time attack mode. There we go. First down, and some of the characters, like you just saw, some of the characters actually have a unique animation for when they get hit in, the, in either the stomach or the head by your power attack when you have a full super meter. Um, his is that he goes rocketing back into the corner. Uh, bear huggers, he like flies up into the air and then wobbles back down. Holy crap, I just beat Piston Hurricane in 23 seconds. I've never done that. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's a that's a Colton first. 
23 seconds on Piston Hurricane. All right, now here's somebody everybody knows from uh, from the original Punch Out, or at least everybody who's played Punch Out anyway. Uh, of course, he's got the bull. He still has the bull charge in this one. If I get quiet at any point during this, y'all have to forgive me. Sometimes some of these fights take a good bit of focus to not get destroyed. Nope, I missed the timing. No, 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 no. <sighs> okay. The timing is so weird on that bull rush, and it's different from the NES one. Like, in the NES one, you have to hit the punch button right on the third hop, but if you hit it on the third hop here, you're too slow. You're, it, it'll miss. You have to hit it, like, between, it's like a stutter step between the second and third. And he does it almost every time he gets up from a knockdown, which is a really fast way to knock him out. If you get the first knockdown super quick and then bait him into the bull charge. Also, another way that you, ha another thing you, like I was saying earlier, another thing you have to really get good at to get a fast time on like him and the rest of the, farther along fights is counter punching whenever an enemy begins their starts their punch animation knowing which punch to throw to knock them out of it see that time he only did two hops knowing which punch to throw to get you out of it and back to a neutral state is critical i'm getting my coffee beans ground in this fight no 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 no, no. He just throws these massive, like, baby killer jabs that doesn't help that his fists are easily as big as my entire torso. Damn it. Alright, that's okay. We're gonna rematch him. Woo! 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 Oh! Ha 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 ha! Eh! 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 His laugh is so stupid. Also, I want to take a moment to do a special shout out. Um, thanks to Cubby uh, for the use of our themes, the use of my theme song, uh, slash our new theme song. Uh, it's called Up In My Jams. Uh, it will be in the outro. You guys will get to hear it. Because um, I'm not sure if I will have gotten around to putting it in the intro yet. Um, but it's a very good song. His music's on Bandcamp, and he's got a new release getting ready to come out that he's trying to raise money for. So please, guys, go check out his Bandcamp page. Um, he's got a subscription offer, uh, where you can subscribe and get all of his music, kind of like you would on, uh, like, uh, any kind of subscription media service. Like, you get all of it as it comes out. So, uh, like a season pass. Think of it like that. For you gamers out there. Um, so please go check out his music. It's phenomenal stuff. And thanks again to him for letting us use this song. Alright, I'm just gonna... Nope, nope, nope. I'm just gonna just open my mouth. Ah! And put my chin out there, please. Just... Give me them punches. Just give me them right to my noggin, please. Punch my head until my brain looks like clam chowder. Oh, boy's trying to... Gonna hit me till I don't know who my family is. But that's okay, we got him. I don't think that's three. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's so good. It's so good. It's 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 the best. Just cut to the cut to the next match.
You know, I don't think I've ever had this much trouble with Bald Bull in my life. In any version of Punch-Out. His bull charge usually makes him one of the easier, higher level fighters to get the drop on. Because see, if you can hit him, if you can get him to do it, he just drops if you time it right. But the timing is so awkward. Now my strategy is just going to be... Bait the punches and... I'm just going to have to play... I'm going to have to stop trying to get flashy and do speedrunner BS and... Start just actually playing this safely. Only throwing safe counter punches. Only throwing safe counter punches, and then I throw four blocked body blows. There we go. That's in there. Knockout. And I believe he's the champion of the minor circuit. Which. Yeah! There we go. All right, top score. Damn, I even beat my other score for minor circuit. It's that 23 second piston hurricane knockout. It had to be what did it. Um, Man. All right, guys, I'm the minor circuit champion. Awesome, got that belt. Uh, next time on bottom tier, I'm gonna jump directly into the major circuit and we'll see how long that takes me to clear. And we're going to do that next time right here on Bottom Tier.